Hey everyone, welcome back to my home studio. So today's video is just a quick video on how I made some press molds and I added some alterations to some wheel thrown cylinders. So what I did first was I made a positive mold by taking a, a, just a soft ball of clay and I smooshed it down against the table. I threw it down real hard and so it splatted out and it got big. Then I slip trailed dots on it. So you can see I've got slip trailed dots on it. And then I bisque fired this. Then I took the bisque fired piece and I took another piece of clay and then I smooshed that other piece of clay right down on it and I pushed down really hard and I wanted to make a negative stamp form of this. So after I made the negative stamp form, I did clean up the edge. So it's, you can see it's like nice and uniform and everything. I pinched a handle because I wanted this to be easy to hold. So I made a variety of sizes of these and I used these to push them up against a soft cylinder that I had wheel thrown and I pushed out. So I ended up with these cups that I made to commemorate a milestone. I just got my second vaccine shot last week and we just reached the year anniversary of the pandemic lockdown happening here in Ohio. And I wanted to make something to kind of commemorate that time, but I didn't want to make light of it because I know that this is very important and very big. So I have my coronavirus cups and I took the quote of Dr. Fauci of 2020 that says wear a mask and I pressed that into it. I made these as gifts for some of my special dear friends of the family who are in the medical field. And I wanted to give them something um, to know how much we appreciate all the work that they're doing. I am not posting this in any mean, in any way to be political. So please don't uh, drop uh, comments and uh, troll me down below just because I have made these cups. I'm trying to show a technique, okay, that you can apply in many different ways even such as if you take something that's non-spherical. So see like my shell mold that I made this before, you can you can say take something like this and press it against the side and you can have like little shells that are bumping out. Now it is indented on the inside, so it, it is kind of cool, but it's all soft and it's easy to clean. So it's not like it's it's got real sharp uh you know, nooks and crannies that stuff won't come out. So I hope you enjoy this video, but um, I wanted to show you that um, these are for my Corona cups. That's why I, that's why I made these little molds. Oh, and I slip trailed in, in the video, I did not mention it, but I actually slip trailed some more dots on there to make it a little bit more pronounced. So drop me any questions or comments that you might have below, and I hope you enjoy. And stay safe, stay healthy, and keep potting if you, you can. can. So to begin with, again, these are my positive molds and I bisque fired them and I made the negative molds from the positive molds. And after I cleaned up the negative mold, that's what I'm going to use to press. So by placing the mold on the outside and my fingers on the inside, I can gently kind of push out the clay so it will go into the mold. Now imagine you could use this with any sort of form. As I showed earlier, you could use say a shell mold or maybe you wanted a mold like a basketball or something like that. You can do all sorts of uh, different uh, shapes and forms in there. You have to be careful not to press too hard right along the edge of the mold or you could crease it and you could create a hole. Um, if you press too hard too quickly and you make it bump out a little too quickly as well, you could rip the clay if your clay wall is fairly thin. In the case of mine, I did get maybe a couple of rips when I was making some of them. Now you can see the inside where it's dented. It's got the, uh, the indents there on the interior of the wall. And I'm going to do this on another one, just a lot quicker. You can see you're just pushing it out. The clay must still be in that plastic stage. It's a stiff plastic, but it still has to have the plasticity to really kind of push out and go into that. Um, and I tried not to move it, move the mold because I didn't want a shadow of where the little slip trail bumps, you know, made a shadow line but I do end up by adding more slip trailing just to help define it a little bit more later anyway. 
And once uh, I have all of the bumps on there, then I was just cleaning up the bottom. I did not trim a foot on these. I just tidied up the bottom. And I am, by the way, using B-Mix without grog. This is Cone 6 B-Mix. So I'm able to use a sponge to tidy that up as well. If this were a grogged clay, I wouldn't sponge it like that. And then once I have all of the uh, cleaning done on the bottom, then I want to think about how I'm going to make a handle. Now I already prepped some little chunks of clay there. Um, these are going to be little lugs that I'm going to attach and you can see they're quite small because I'm making small handles just for like a finger or two and I'm just kind of pinching it. I'm kind of tapping that edge where it's going to connect and then I'm scoring and I'm going to slip so I score both surfaces really well and then I'm going to add some slip. That's just some throwing slip from my water bucket. So it's, it's actually a slurry of clay. And then I'm just going to put that on there and I'm going to set that aside and allow that to stiffen up. I usually don't pull the handle until it's kind of, that joint has kind of stiffened up a little bit and I want that to be a little bit um, more firm so I don't pull it off when I pull the handle. Again, cleaning up the same way with a rib, with a sponge, tidying up on the outside there, and then I'm ready to attach the little lug. So again, I've pre-made some of these. They're not quite coils, but they're flattened. Um, this is just in prep for when I go to pull the handle on the mug itself. It's already lending its uh, form, so it's going to be easy to pull. So I did that with all of my mugs. Now I'm going to stamp, so this is even before I've pulled the handle here, and I'm just using the MKM stamps. These are wonderful wooden stamps. Um, I highly recommend them. So I'm just putting my quote and then including his name with Dr. Fauci. So this will be glazed by adding a little bit of uh, underglaze in the in the in the letters. Now I'm ready to start pulling. So I start pinching the handle first and then I add water. So when you see me uh, put my hand to the side, I'm putting water on my fingers and I'm pulling and stretching it. This is a slow process. You're stretching it between your first finger and your thumb. You're kind of sculpting it, making sure that it's even thinning it and thinning it slowly with very light pressure and then I'm scoring, slipping, and then I'm just tucking that end. And so again, you can see this is really a one or two finger handle at the most. Okay, and then I'm just going to press that on there. This is my favorite uh, Kemper wooden tool, that one that's, um, it's just called the wood tool. And I'm just cleaning up in there. I am going to allow these to stiffen up a little bit more. So that's a nice little form for that handle. I enjoy that. And uh, on some of them, I did put little thumb rests and pinky rests. So these are them in the greenware stage. And you can see I've slip trailed a little bit more. So the slip trailing is a little bit more prominent. Now that's bisque. And again, I rubbed some underglaze into the letters and then there's the underglaze and then I sponge that off and then I glazed with uh, celadons on the outside. These are coyote celadons. It's uh, sapphire and peacock and key lime combined on the exterior. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made the coronavirus cups with the press molds, both the negative and the positive press molds. And I hope you might want to try something like that yourself sometime.